Hello everyone, my name is MJ Vilches, and welcome to part 5, I think, of uh, Let's Make Music with LMMS, Audacity, and Ardor. In the previous part, we did some audio cleaning with Audacity and a little bit of a uh, mixing with Ardor. But yeah, for this part, we are going to actually um, redo some stuff that we did right, like right at the end of the previous uh, stream. We're going to be... Uh, Starting with our door again, we're gonna restart the whole thing that we did because I did something wrong about it, and it needs to be corrected. So yeah, uh, in opening up our door, you should be greeted with something like this. So I opened it up. Uh, my door is like a, a few versions back. There's a new version released, but I'm settling with the version that I have because I kind of paid for it. Because <laughs> I decided to just you know, pay for like. Like a few, because you 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 can decide how much you can pay, you can like give to a door, and I think this is a feature that has like some. It doesn't. It's not like a. It doesn't have those. Uh, the plugins will not be will not have like a limited time to be used. But then again, I'm using VST plugins, so it's not really an issue. But never mind. <laughs> you know what? I'm just stupid. But anyways, we're gonna create a new new session here. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess, press new session. I'm gonna pick empty template as the template here, and I'm gonna create. I'm gonna pick a folder where I'm gonna be saving the uh, the new session. And also, hello Jane, welcome to the stream. Hopefully, I'd be able to share some knowledge in our tour. So yeah, I need to pick the same folder that I did last time. I should have like an. Uh, I have a folder where I put all of my projects. We're working on the song Don't Wanna Fall Again, so it's right there. And I'm gonna go for to the Ardour projects. I'm gonna create a folder here, DWFA dash final. Uh, the mix one is what we did yesterday um, on, on the previous stream. And we're gonna be doing stuff again on this one. So I'm gonna name this DWFA. DWFA. Maybe I should just go don't wanna fall again and because uh, i think the project uh name is going to be used as the title when you export but you can rename it anyway i'm just you know just, just did that so when you're greeted with this thing uh i think you don't really need to do much unless you have you want to change the sample rate but i actually just i'm just actually just gonna keep the sample rate to 44 hertz here kilohertz not exactly knowledgeable about that kind of stuff because disclaimer i am not a professional music producer i'm a filmmaker that likes to dabble in all things filmmaking including making music so the stream is like this is my own workflow it's not a tutorial it's my own workflow in you know in making music my own music and yeah they're definitely not gonna be professional sounding we'll see we'll see how we're how things will go here so yeah uh, this is an empty template nothing's here yet and to add a track we right click right here like right in this area and I'm gonna add like a mono track configuration I'm gonna add vocals tracks for the vocals first I'm gonna add two tracks for the vocals I'm gonna add and close and that should add two tracks for the vocals vocals one and vocals vocals two Next is we're going to add a track for the guitar, which is going to be a stereo track, and it's gonna be just one, I think. So, yeah, I'm gonna add that, and then I'm gonna add three tracks for the violin, because there's only like four instruments for the for uh, like the music. A violin is also gonna be stereo. Oh no! Actually, I'm gonna set the volume, the violin to mono, and I'm gonna add and close. So three tracks for the violin. I think I also need to add. Uh, no, just two tracks for the bass. It's going to be mono as well, and then um, I think I need to add three tracks for the drums drums it's also going uh, it's going to be stereo add and close so first things first we are going to drag and drop our guitar track so i need to navigate to the project folder where i saved 
which was shown on the previous stream how I exported it from LMMS if you haven't watched the previous stream yet yeah, I suggest you watch it just skip to the just skip the door part since you know we're doing it here again yeah I'm gonna grab the instrument here guitar and drag and drop it here in the guitar track and that should import our guitar as a stereo because there's still like wave uh, waveforms here yes this is our door chain also don't forget to save control s this is a door that is not LMMS because I mix the music in our door I could do it in LMMS but it's so difficult to like edit like for example the vocals like retime it and stuff it's just challenging to do it in LMMS so I'm doing it here in our door so I'm gonna drag and drag and drop our violin here a mono violin right there violin verse 2 on the violin 2 and then violin end violin so. okay so bass hmm there's only one for the bass why did I add it did I add two anyways yeah I can delete bass two here remove that yes remove it now let's go for the drum three tracks for the drums as well just drag and drop I should actually and you know what I'm gonna keep going with this just stick with the drums being like that and this track and that should do the trick now for the vocals I actually need to re record some of the vocals again but I'm just gonna grab this vocals one here fair warning I'm not that great of a singer so don't expect too much I'm also gonna drag and drop vocals to right here I can mute this because I'm gonna pick between these two which parts are great and which parts are not so now let's listen to it first without any mixing I need to uh, time the vocals here. Okay, that came in too f too soon, too late. It's too late still. A little bit late there. A little bit too soon for some reason. So yeah, doing this in LMMS is difficult. That's why decided to use our door I don't want to fall don't want to fall again don't try and push me I don't want to fall again don't try and push me I don't want to fall again I'm just gonna no one could as you can see uh, the waveform here matches even though it's two different recordings so I'm just using that as a reference as I line out this other one. I don't wanna fall again. We can't really hear this one yet. Don't try and push me. I don't wanna fall again. No one could pull me. Also, inform me if the music is like if you can hear if you can't hear my voice talking when the music is on. Like my like this voice talking right now, not the voice right here. <laughs> So yeah, like when I'm talking right now, see what I do in LMMS is just to do the the instrument stuff that's the use for LMMS, and then for mixing, our door. Me, cause I know that you know the 
clear fast the bottom and I know when I fall I'll get hurt Okay, let's go to first two because this is where the violin started I don't wanna fall again I know it sounds so silly I don't wanna fall again But that's just how I see it that love and then the drum part starts right Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some mixing and the first thing that you need to do for mixing I think which is what I Kind of watched some videos, which I will link in the description below and uh, I'm done with the stream uh, The first thing that we need to do is to manipulate like the volume and the panning. I think that's the first thing like Depending on how far, then just I'm mean, gonna. It's like imagining. It's like imagine. Um, I think I can bring out like a paint program here. Let me just let me just bring out a paint paint program here. So it's like uh, the way we're gonna do this is like uh, we're gonna focus on like where the listener is, and so the listener is here. So we need to like mix our our music in a way that. Each instruments are like, like for, for example, this is a room, and each instrument is like coming from the, the the like from a certain direction in the room. Like for example, the guitar is like going to be like far away, like in the middle right here. Vocals will be right here. This is the guitar, and then the drums will also be kind of right here, in the back, and then there's gonna be violin on the other one, and violin here, and maybe the bass somewhere like there. Something something like that. And, we're gonna do something like that, and we can do that by manipulating the volume, and the panning, and uh, the, equ the equalizer. So that's kind of the idea here. And that's what I'm going to do. I don't want so let's. So I'm gonna start with the violin part. So I'm gonna go mixer. Violin. All the violins should have. Well, it shouldn't have the same things, but. So I want the violin to be kind of like like the first violin, kind of like on the left ear. So this is the left ear and right ear. I'm gonna also set the violin to to the uh the, the right. So this is like the slightly higher violin. I'm gonna set this one same as the other one. Now let's play that. You can you can actually hear it here. I put it here. It's right here. It's at the left side of the ear, but I'm gonna put it right there. I don't wanna fall again. I know it sounds so silly. I don't I'm also, fall again, but that's I'm also gonna reduce it, the volume a bit. That is just so scary. So I don't wanna fall, don't wanna fall, don't wanna fall, I don't wanna fall. So we're gonna now try and don't wanna fall. I don't wanna fall. So the bass will probably somewhere right there. Also reducing the drums a bit. Hmm. Yep. I don't want to fall. So I kind of hear them a bit. Don't want to fall again. I think for this one, I'm gonna try adding like this, like this at the bottom. Let me mute that. This is not mixed yet, so it's, it's gonna be loud. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. I did record some, some of the. Don't wanna fall again, I 
just don't wanna hurt you. Don't wanna fall again. Yeah, that part like fall. I mean, that's that was difficult to record, but <laughs> I'm gonna worry about the vocals later. For now, let's focus on instruments. So yeah, I think like the volume, the panning, and all that stuff. I think they're gr great at the moment. So I'm gonna. Yeah, first I think I'm gonna go start from the bottom first. So I'm gonna go with the drums. I want mm, probably not a good idea. So this part is something that I'm not sure with. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some equalizer or something like that. Add, adding some filters to our to our sound. So just need to go home there. Go up. So I'm like pressing Control and then middle mouse button to zoom in and zoom out the track here, and then Shift Shift to like scroll through the timeline here. Shift like middle mouse scroll, and then uh, just middle mouse scroll to like go up and down. Left and right is when you press shift, and then middle mouse scroll. So the thing about the guitar, I already added some filters on it through the plugin. So I don't think I need to change much with it. I don't want to fall again. Don't try and push me. I don't want to fall again. No one I guess I'm going to start with the vocals. I don't want to fall again. First thing I want to add don't is always limiter, hard limiter. I don't want to fall again. And what it what that does, I think, is like leveling out the, like the high, like, uh, I think the best way to show you what hard limiter does is by going to Audacity. Because uh, visually, you can see it in Audacity. You can't see it here because uh, our door is doing it behind the scenes. <laughs> but let, let, I'm going to drag like this first vocals here, drag and drop it. The first vocals here in Audacity. This is just an example of what the harm hard limiter does it's so difficult to explain but what it does is just you know it's just one of the things that i've like i learned in the past that i need to add on the vocals so i'm gonna add i'm gonna hard limit that and you'll see what it does to the audio it's gonna like i think it reduces like the peak parts like don't want to fall like it levels out the like audio I think that's what it is but yeah that's just one of the things that I add first for the vocals I'm gonna go with a 16 dB limit and then the next thing I add after that I think it or all the filters like that cleans up the vo vocals like de -esser. So I'm gonna go with speed, Spitfish de here. Insert plugin. And I know that you know that Let's try maxing stuff out yeah, first. In the end, you'll get so I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. Okay. And I know that you know that falling might feel I'm trying many different presets here. Then in the end you'll get hurt. So I don't wanna fall. I don't wanna fall. So yeah, what the answer does is like reduces like the the part, I think. Like the esser, like the S's. That's why it's called the esser. But moving on, let's just, just leave it at that. I think the set, default settings there is fine, or like the one of the presets, it's it's not exactly doing that much. 
But yeah, after that one, I'm gonna go with Equalizer. I'm gonna go full... This voice equalizer that I downloaded from VST for free. I sh I'm, oh, I'm gonna be adding links in the description below of all the v uh, the VST plugins that I use. I'm gonna use Mail Standard. And let's see. I'm gonna reduce the lows. Falling might feel good, but then in the end you'll get hurt. So I don't want to fall, I don't want to fall, I don't want to fall again. I don't want to fall again. Don't try and push me. I don't want to fall again. No, I. I pass. I want to reduce. Reducing the mids and lows, I think. Probably also need to add a compressor. I'm gonna go for a vocal leveler. Now I can reduce the. Do that again. I don't want to fall again. Don't try and push me. I don't want to fall again. No one could. I think the compressor's too much. I know that you know the clear fast of bottom, and I know when I fall, I'll get hurt. And I know that you know that falling might feel good, but then in the end you'll get. So I'm change. I'm just changing like the layout. Yeah, I'm mixing stages like compositing. Like so many things you can do just to improve stuff. Like compositing and like uh, visual effects. Probably need to fade this in a bit. I don't wanna fall. I don't wanna fall again. And then I also wanna add like a reverb for the for the for this. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go to the VST categories here and I need I think I need cinematic. Is it cinematic reverb? Let's see. No, it's not cinematic reverb. Forgot the name again. Uh, it should be Dimension Plus. Yes, this is the reverb that I like. It's a VST, it's a free VST plugin. Just, just search for it on Google or something. But yeah, I'm gonna add the links in the description soon. Hopefully, I won't forget about it. <laughs> Cause uh, there's a bunch of stuff I do. There's still the Underland Project, which I also plan to like make an original music for it, the final short film. Wish we'll see. We'll see. So this reverb is for the vocals. I don't want to fall again. Don't 
try and push me I don't want to fall again No one could pull me Cause I know that you know The clear facts the bottom And I know when I fall I'll get hurt And I know that you know That falling might feel good Probably need to reduce the mid here. Get so I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall again. Don't try and push me. I don't want to fall again. No one could pull me. Cause I know. We're going to do the low. Pumping up the mid there is a great help, I think. Kind of feels like what I like about music sometimes is like the vocals like put like right, like it's like when you like it's like giving you the illusion that you're the one singing. Like it's coming from you. There's always something like that with music, especially for the vocals part. And I think the mid, this mid part is like helping a lot on that. And one other thing that I actually do sometimes is to add like uh, an auto tuner. Auto tuner, and I think it's uh, Karo V here. I'm gonna go with the Karo V, Karo V, KK. It's either Ro V or Karo V. It's Karo V. Falling might feel good, but then in the end you get hurt. I'm gonna try. So I don't wanna fall. I don't wanna fall. I don't wanna fall again. Bottom and I know when I fall, I'll get hurt. And I So you can kinda you know Oh no ah this is what I forgot that Kirby does this. Yep. <laughs> okay, it's crashing now. I'm gonna close it now. Oh boy. I forgot that Kirby does that. It happens when you like tweak it while the music is playing. So I have to keep in mind. I do hope that I saved all of the stuff that we did on the... On the thingy though. On our door. Let's see. <laughs> so I'm opening our door again. Yeah, Karo V plugin does that. I think it's just a very intense because it auto tunes <laughs> your voice, you know. <laughs> so it's gonna it's probably taking so much computer power to <laughs> auto tune my voice. <laughs> Anyways, oh no, we're I it deleted all of the filters that I added for the vocals. Like all of it. It's just, it's gone. Ah, okay then. Okay then. Just quickly, let me just breeze through this stuff that we did previously. Yeah, 16 dB limit. There we go. And then uh, probably gonna uh, skip the esser. And uh, next is the uh, uh, equalizer. Equalizer. Insert plugins. 
I'm gonna go with the male soft here, reducing the soft, the lows, the reduce bottom, bit high, reduce the volume, check the mid here, and then increase the mid right there. I think that's about it. Don't wanna fall again. Don't try and push me. I don't want to fall again. No one could pull me, cause I know. I'm gonna reduce per Let's bump up the highs a bit Even the volume parts are gone and the pen. Oh boy. Oh well It's just it does that it does that Okay, then Okay, then. Sorry about this. I think that's why you need to save all the time. Like, all the time. We try each and like one tweak, control S. Because, man, man, that sucks. Thanks for the support. So, now let's listen to this again. Probably gonna go back. I don't want to fall again. No one could pull me because I know that you know the clear fast of bottom, and I know when I fall, I'll get hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it back to low a bit. And I know that you know that falling might feel good, but then and then compressor. Probably not compressor yet for the voice. Just a reverb. Uh, I think I added Dimension Plus. Gonna reduce the wet. I don't wanna fall. I don't wanna fall. I don't wanna fall again. Control S, control S, control S. I don't wanna fall again. No one could pull me. Cause I know that you know the clear fast of bottom. And I know when I fall. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep the voice like that for now. Let's go to the to the other instruments. I need to bring back the violin right there. Violin two right here. Violin three there. Bass a little bit to the right. Drums will remain in the middle, but just slightly lower volume. So these are all the drums, right? Okay. So what I want to do with the drums is actually do add like an ozone imager plugin for this. This is also one free VST plugin that widens uh, the sound. So I'm gonna add an ozone imager here. I, let's see. Hopefully it works. Oh, it works. So what it does is like it widens the. See if you can hear. It's like widens the. <laughs> Probably gonna mute this for a while. Oh no. 
Sí. <laughs> okay, that that recording wasn't good. But I'm gonna copy over the filters that I've added on violin one here. I'm gonna control A that and drag and drop, and that should put all of it there. So now I'm gonna open Ozone Imager again. Tell you what. Ha! <laughs> it's so awful. I probably need to like reduce the volume of that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a big yikes right there. That's not a good. Uh, that's not a good recording. I recorded a better one, which I will put there. But I'm gonna have to mute that. <laughs> that doesn't inspire anyone. <laughs> I'm gonna mute the vocals here. So that it just widens the the. So without it, it sounds like this, like just in the middle. I also need to add like a reverb for the drums. I'm probably gonna use a different reverb for the, or like a re different reverb plugin for the drums. Let's see, let's, because there are some presets on some of these plugins that works, I think. Yeah, see that there's a drum ambience like in the tall reverb. Let's listen to that. Let's see. I'm gonna copy over all of this here. Oh no, control A. All of it on the drum. Oh, the guitar was muted. I'm trying to do, removing the ozone imager. I think... I think the ozone imager is... Like, making it too wide doesn't really sound great. Okay, I'm not gonna put the wide on there. On the drums. Now let's do some equalizing. So I'm gonna equalize, put an equalizer on our guitars first. I'm gonna use Equalibur. It's uh, also another VST plugin. And I think I'm gonna use like a chart for like equalizer. Equalizing. Equalizer. I'm gonna search like an equalizer chart on Google. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a instrument equalizer. Frequency, how to use? Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Gonna. Open image and new tab. So I'm gonna try this. Okay, that, yeah, I don't know about that though. That, that, that kind of sound, that kind of looks. Acoustic guitars. 7K, 10, 10K. Oh boy. So guitars, I'm gonna try cutting right here because it's like 70, 7K, 10K. So this part. 
this is just janky stuff happening. I'm just gonna like harshness acoustic guitars. 2k. Cut 7k to 10k. So I'm gonna cut cutting means like like putting it downwards like the 17. I don't know, it is like 7, 7, 7k to 10k. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> Pretty sure this is just like like a, frequencies. Frequencies that you need. You need to like manipulate the frequencies so that you can hear each of the element uh, elements of a song clearly. So I'm gonna try doing that here. Or maybe. I'm gonna do this for the violin. Well, for the guitar, I'm gonna bump up like the... Because this part, I think, mostly is for preference. I'm not really sure about it. I think it's mostly preference for, like, your music. Like, you pick the frequencies where it's going to be. There's, like, a chart. There's, like, a... There's, like, all other things. There's, like, a... Like, a default thing that many people follow. Many musicians follow about this, I think. But it's, I'm not a professional music producer, so... I don't... I'm mostly just going with instincts here. I think the vocals should be like right here. This should be the bump, the bump of the vocals. And then for the drums, let me just, oh wait, let me drag that here. And then welcome to the stream, by the way, Albert and Ro and Rob Lucci, <laughs> Rob Lucci Kun. Welcome to the stream. Albert's probably gone now, though. So I'm gonna bring this down. All of that. And I'm gonna bump up like the the bottom parts here. Yeah, and can't because this is where the bass is, I think. And then drums. So that shouldn't be the case for the drums. So you can kind of hear like the changes. I'm just focusing here. Yeah, we're losing the drums. We need to hear the drums. I'm bringing back the highs of the drums.
I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna drag and drop some equilibris here. So it should be we should be able to hear like each of the instrument clearly. Probably gonna put the bass in the left ear. I'm gonna try turning on the ozone imager again. Maybe just a little bit of widen here. Hmm. delete the ozone imagers here and add it again here on our pe on our other drums and I probably need to add like a reverb for the violin yeah I'm gonna add a reverb for the violin Let's see, reverb. I'm gonna try a hall reverb for the violin. And do hope it doesn't crash though. Control S. Let's solo the violin one for now. Maybe large halls. So without the but the reverb it sounds like this. There's a subtle reverb there. That's our great hall. Yeah, there's this. This without the reverb. I mean here's the with reverb. Yeah, there's a subtle. Yeah, I'm keeping that. That's a keeper. I'm gonna control S. And now let's remove solo. Okay, now let's go back to the top, unmute this, and listen to what we have so far, I guess. I'm gonna try the other one. Mute this. This is how I should sing it too. There's a mistake here. <laughs> See? This is how I should sing it here. It's like it's remove all the when I copied it over. Oh well.
don't wanna fall again. No, it sounds so silly. Don't wanna fall again. That's just how I see it. That love is just so risky. And I know that it's just so scary. So I don't wanna fall. I don't wanna fall. So yeah, I think that's all. I still need to do like a bunch of stuff off recording or without live streaming. But yeah, that's kind of like the basics of like adding like, like mixing and stuff. Just like equalizer. That's one of the main things that you do. And then I actually maybe for the final part, I can show you guys something like this. I can add like the ozone imager for everything. Not sure if that's a great idea, but let me try. I don't wanna fall again. Don't try and push me. I don't wanna fall again. No one could pull me. Cause I know that you know the clear fast of bottom and, and I'm also gonna add compressor here for the compressor stereo. Okay, I think that's all for now. I need to... That's kind of like the basics of the stuff. It's more taste, I guess. But if you want to like follow like uh, a, a, uh, an existing song, you probably need to like research how... What like what like different filters they use for something like that. There's a bunch of stuff that you need to do for music production that I really cannot... I'm, I'm not that capable of tackling because I'm not a professional. But yeah, this is just dabbling with music, creating music, how I make my music. Uh, not not really making music to like become a musician or something more on the filmmaking side I just want to you know uh, f uh, Do this kind of stuff and yeah, they're, they're, as you can hear the music's kind of decent I guess <laughs> Not that great, but you know Gotta remove compressor it's too loud I'm probably gonna add compressor right here. Uh, vocal leveler. That falling might feel good, but then, in the end, you'll get hurt. So I don't want to fall. It also helps to high pass stuff. Hey there, everybody. So yeah, I think that's all. Uh, there's, I've pretty much shown you everything that I know. And yeah, I'm probably going to be doing something like this in the future. And probably it would be more professional, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, we'll see. But for now, uh, I'm gonna be finishing this off recording off uh, live stream and I'm gonna be publishing like a video or something about it. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, for now, this is it. This is the end of the music stream. Um, after this, it's just gonna be like some tweaking, some tedious tweaking of some of the stuff that I added here. Probably even removing stuff. But until we reach like a, like a nice sounding music. But yeah, that's it, I guess. Hopefully, I've shared some enough knowledge for you guys i also actually do something like that as well for like sound designing and because sometimes i use our to like add sound to my uh, films or animations and 
yeah, I also use those kind of that kind of method to add music and sound. So yeah, I think I've shared enough. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who watched the stream. To Jane, to Luchi, to Albert, who stopped by, to everybody. Thank you so much for uh, watching the stream live and also to you who watched this video not on a live stream but actually reached this point this is a pretty long video and if you reach this point watching this video thank you so much for that but yeah um i also want to thank uh the people who's given me some coffee the golden doodle fuels to uh handsome Ness jubin agency eric madrigal thank you to elizabeth money manoya withershield ziku star tristan wintle M buddy and Guillermo Gage, thank you so much. Uh, they supported me through code-free.com slash productions and other ways that you know that involves giving real money. Yeah, thank you so much, those guys, and yeah, follow Doodle Productions everywhere on the internet. Well, join the Discord server if you want to. Uh, I made a Discord bot named Doodly here. Someone's uh, someone chatted here. There was scared flyer. You can like do a bunch of commands like do morning, and do nuts. Donuts, you know stuff like that. I made a Discord bot. Um, yeah, join the Discord server to like try it out or chat with us. Uh, with us. So yeah, that's all. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everyone. Um, yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. My name is MJ Vilches, and yeah, I'll finish that music and I will publish it, and you will hear how awful my voice is. I guess I don't know. We'll see. Bye.